In this video, we are going to practice writing sets in the roster form. Here are six of them. So pause the video, try writing these sets in the roster form. Okay, so let's do this together. But before we begin, let's do a quick refresher of what roster form is, what roster method is. So roster method is the answer method. You're given a question and if you write the answer for that, that's what we call the roster method. Let's take an example. If you want to write all odd positive integers less than 10, this is how you do it. The first thing to do is have brackets and within these brackets, you'll have your answer. So these are your brackets and let's say we write the answer odd positive integers less than 10. That's one, three, five, seven, and nine. So that's your answer. We call them elements. And then you separate these elements using commas. So that's your commas. This is how you write in the roster method. A very quick note, you can write these elements in any order. So you can have one, three, five, seven, nine in this order because the order does not matter and you don't repeat the elements. So with this in mind, let's move to our questions. So we have these six questions and we want the answers for them. Let's tackle them one by one. Let's look at the first one. A is the set of all X such that X is an integer and X is between minus three and seven, minus three included, seven not included. This is minus three less than equal to X less than seven. So X can be minus three, but X cannot be seven. Okay. So what's the answer? We want to have integers starting from minus three. So this is what we have minus three, minus two, minus one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. We don't have seven. That's the answer for this question. This is how we write this set in the roster form. All right, let's take the next one. X is a natural number less than six. So natural numbers begin with one. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. That's the answer. X is a two digit number such that the sum of its digits is eight. Well, nothing directly comes to mind. So let's skip this. X is a prime number, which is the divisor of 60. This might also be a lot of work. So let's do the easy ones. This is how I used to uh, give exams. Always solve the easier ones first. Okay. We have X is the letter in the word trigonometry. Okay. I can do this. We have T R I G O N O again, and then M E T again, R again, and then Y. So we take all of these letters and we avoid repetition. So we have T R I G O N M E Y. That's, that's it. That's our set in the roster form. We'll do the same thing in the next one. X is a letter in the sentence. Khan Academy is awesome. So K H A N A is covered. C A is covered. D E M Y I S A is covered. W E is covered. S and then O and then M is covered. E is covered. Okay. This is what we have. Khan Academy is awesome. Now let's look at the math ones. X is a two digit number such that the sum of its digits is eight. Well, if we start with the tens place and think about the units place, this should work. For example, if the tens place is four, the units place will also be four because we want the sum to be eight. If the tens place is two, the units place will be six because the sum is eight. So this is what we'll have. We'll start with the smallest one, uh, tens place one, the so unit place will be seven. So one plus seven is eight. 10 is 2 and then 6. 2 and 6 add up to 8. 3 and 5, 4 and 4, and then the reverse. 5 and 3, 6 and 2, 7 and 1, and also 8 and 0. Sometimes we miss this one. 8 plus 0 is also 8. So this is our set of all two digit numbers such that the sum of the digits is 8. Last one, x is a prime number which is the divisor of 60. So we only need to look at the prime factors of 60. Well, 60 is 6 times 10, 6 is 2 times 3, so we have 2 and 3, and 10 is 2 and 5, 2 is covered, so we'll only take 5. So 2, 3, and 5, these are the only prime factors of 60, and with this, we're done with this problem. 